Hello everyone and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to look at the auto contrast effect. Um, the auto contrast effect, just so you know, adjusts the overall contrast and mixture of colors, but it doesn't introduce or remove any of the color casts. Uh, it's a nice way of saying it, fix the contrast. Anyways, I've got the standard three clips here I've been using for the last few two tutorials. And let's create a sequence. Click on the clip. And we're going to do the Ferrari one. Drop it into the timeline and bang, you'll see we have a new sequence. Sequence, pardon me. Um, okay, so let's take a look through it. Here is the regular, uh, the original clip, pardon me. Now let's go into the effect and find the auto contrast. Now you want to click on the effects box here. Video effects, auto contrast. It's under the adjust, just so you know. And okay, so click on the clip and then double click on the auto contrast and let's see what happens Oh, automatically it makes some calculations and this is the applications best guess it also gets some default um, uh, parameters uh, applied to it but you can also go in and make some adjustments now in order here temporal smoothing uh, just like in the auto color effect and the auto levels effect, you generally want to apply temporal smoothing. Uh, usually one second uh, works. Uh, temporal smoothing, for those of you that don't know, is where it allows the um, application to look at one second of clips uh, of the clip as opposed to just the individual frame when making its adjustments. Uh, it's a very simple explanation. We'll get more into that in a upcoming tutorial on color correction. Uh, but uh, yeah, generally you want to have one second or so um, of temporal smoothing. Uh, moving on, the black clip and white clip, it comes with 0.1%, but of course you can season this to your taste, what kind of look you're looking for. So let's just take a look here. Incre increasing the black. Da, 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 da. Okay, so if we move it up, let's go all the way to 10%. Okay, that eh, might be a bit much. And go down to 0%. Okay, so somewhere in there, there's a nice look. I don't know, let's take a look here. Maybe 3%. Let's take a look what that looks like. That looks pretty good. And for white clip, well, you know, let's see. You can increase this as you see fit if you want your whites to really pop. Or if you want it to be a little bit darker, I'm kind of liking... Well, that's a bit too bright. It looks a little bit blown out there at the top. So let's reduce that down. Oh, you know what? There's not a whole lot of room here, I guess, on this one without going out, uh, blowing out the white. So, you know, maybe let's go with that. And then finally, guys, you have the option to blend with original. So um, you can have 100% blend, which means there's no effect applied or 0% blend, which is full effect, or somewhere in between. Uh, generally, I, I leave it around 0% or, or you know, a couple percent up because you know the effect does what it's supposed to do, so you don't really need the original. But anyways, let's take a look here. So this is, uh, this is let's look at the original. There we go. A little bit blown out, not all that uh, much pop. And then bang, let's look at the auto contrast effect looks a lot better. Uh, the reason why I really like these auto effects is because to be totally blunt you don't need to really know what you're doing in terms of like color correction. You can just sort of apply it and go. Um, there are other effects and there are other ways to get exactly or a little bit more precise what color you're looking for but if you're in a pinch and you want to get something done quickly or you're not an expert in in color correction the auto effects are very very viable. So anyways guys thanks for joining me on this tutorial. I'll be back more with the auto levels effect coming up next.